welcome back. Today we're gonna make this cute bunny and stay tuned to the very end because I'm gonna show you how to make the flowers and attach them. Now let's get started. On a six inch wooden dowel, we're gonna attach all cords using a lark's head knot. To make a lark's head knot, fold your cord in half and find the center. Take the center loop and place it behind your wooden dowel and then pull your tail ends through the loop. I'm gonna skip ahead and tie the rest. To read our pattern, we're gonna work from the top row down, starting from left to right. So grab your first strand of yarn and we're gonna tie a vertical double half hitch knot. To do this, make a loop on your right, wrap your cord around and through the loop, and then repeat one more time. So again, make a loop on your right, wrap your tail around and through the loop. Adjust your knot and then slide it all the way up to the top of your work. Now I'm going to demonstrate one more time. Make sure your yarn is behind your next cord. Make a loop on your right, wrap your tail in around and through the loop and then repeat one more time. Now I don't give specific measurements for the yarn. However, I like to work with 120 inches at one time. Now to switch color, all you have to do is grab a separate strand of yarn and then tie it just like we did at the very start of this project. Also, if you ever run out of yarn, this is the exact same way we're gonna attach a new piece. This pattern is a part of my request series. If you have a pattern request, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Okay, so to switch back to your previous color, all you have to do is run it behind your work. To do this, all you have to do is lift up your filler cords and then run your yarn behind them Place them down and make sure it's also over top of your next working cord. And then behind your next set of cord and then you carry on tying your vertical double half inch knots. It sounds much more complicated than it really is. I'm going to go ahead and complete this first row and then I'll show you what to do next. Alrighty, so taking a look at our pattern, what I like to do is highlight each row we complete. And as you can see, we started from left and worked our way right. Now we have to go back in the opposite direction. Grabbing the same strand of yarn that we were using, place it behind your last cord. And this time we're gonna make a loop on the left, wrap our tail end around and through the loop and repeat. So essentially it's the same thing only in reverse. So I'm gonna go ahead and carry on with our pattern and zigzag all the way down. How adorable is she? So let's flip her over and we're gonna clean up the mess on the back. Grab any two strands that are close together and tie a double overhand knot. Then snip off the excess yarn. Do this to all the loose strands in the back and then flip her back over and give her fringe a trim. Now our bunny looks fantastic just the way she is. However, I'm gonna spice it up and add a few flowers. And don't worry, these are super easy. Working with three strands of yarn at a time, we're gonna create a petal. Lie one strand of yarn across your table and attach the other two strands of yarn using a reverse lark's head knot. To make a reverse lark's head knot, all you have to do is come up through the bottom and then wrap it around and through the loop. Next, we will be tying a square knot. Place your leftmost cord across the two center, and then the rightmost goes behind and then through the loop of the left. This is half of your square knot. To complete the other half, all you have to do is the same thing, but in reverse. Next, grab the very top strand of yarn, and we're gonna tie a gathering double half hitch knot. To do this, all you have to do is tie a regular double half hitch knot with your first cord and then instead of dropping it, you gather it into your right hand and tie the next one around both of them together. And of course, we're going to repeat the same thing to the other side. 
If you happen to be enjoying this video so far, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Liking my videos is the best way to show me support and help out my channel. It also helps me figure out which videos you guys like the most so that I can make more just like it. With that being said, let's carry on. Once you're finished making your first petal, we're going to go ahead and make four more. And while we're at it, we're going to prepare our center stamen as well. To do this, all you have to do is fold it in half and then tie just a regular overhand knot right at the end. Place it off to the side and then we're going to go ahead and clean up our petals. To do this, all we're going to do is trim off the excess yarn. It's also a good time to plug in that hot glue gun because next we're going to start gluing our petals together. All you need is a little bit of hot glue along the edge. This helps seal our yarn together so it won't slip out. And of course, it will attach our petals together. What I like to do is to glue three petals together. And then once those are secure, I attach my stamen right into the very center. And just make sure that your overhand knot is nestled right on top between all your petals. Then hot glue the rest of your petals, trim off the top of your stamen, and cut the loop at the bottom. Once you have as many flowers as you like, it's time to attach them. Thread your tapestry needle, then place your needle through your work, and then repeat the same process with the other strand of yarn, except with the next strand, you wanna make sure that it is across from your previous yarn. The reason for this is because you want to be able to tie your two strands together in the back. And you guessed it, that's exactly what we're gonna do next. We're gonna flip our work around and grab our two strands of yarn, and we're gonna tie a double overhand knot, just like we did to clean up the mess on the back. And don't forget to snip off the excess yarn. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the rest of my flowers. Gosh, I am so happy with the way this turned out. This makes a perfect little springtime bunny. It would work really well in a nursery or just for Easter. It's a beautiful wall hanging. If you happen to make this pattern, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And I'll see you in the next one.